Are you done being scared of your dark, dungeony crawl space or attic? Are you tired of losing a prized piece of jewelry? My medallion, medallion. I will fear no living creature as long as I keep this near me. Take that, you evil spawn of Satan! Nope, nope. Well, let's put an end to that. So the tools we'll need for this project are a hammer, cable stripper tool, Phillips head screwdriver. Since I'm adding an outlet or a receptacle, I'll be using a two gang electrical box, a single gang electrical box for the light switch, face plates, a motion sensor light switch, the extra receptacle, 14-2 Romex cable, a couple of these outlets for the lights, I'm putting two in my crawl space, cable staples, and your light. And a drill. The most important thing to this project is making sure power is off to the receptacle. You don't want to fry yourself or zap yourself. It's kind of shocking, literally. Um, you can buy any kind of tester. Some plug into all three ports. Some just plug into the small hot port. Um, just double check to make sure the power is off. Let's get started. All right, so we got the new two gang outlet on with the power source in there. We're gonna put the other wire in for the light switch. How this part of the circuit's gonna go is GFCI uh, to a regular receptacle, and then the light switch is gonna be um, spliced in as well. You have to be cautious in how you wire this up um, because you want everything from the GFCI on to be protected. So we got the line with the power source, that wire. This wire is the load for the light switch. And we're gonna make a little pigtail for the receptacle and everything else in this box. And we're gonna expose about three quarters of an inch off the end of the neutral and the hot. So we'll do the same for these wires, cut about three quarters of an inch off the end. All right, so we're gonna take our hot from the line. It's gonna go into the brass section of this. And just make sure you got the right one. So this one's gonna be the load, the brass and the silver, and this one's gonna be the line. I'm just going to plug it down in there. All right. Back down. Give it a tug, make sure it doesn't come out. Nice. So the neutral is going to go to the silver screw. I'm going to plug right in there. Make sure it's nice and snug. Not coming out. And just double check your work. Make sure there's not too much copper exposed right there that could be dangerous we've got our neutral and our hot from the power line notice i kept the ground wire loose we're going to go ahead and splice a little pigtail from here to this ground 
uh, pigtail from here to the new receptacle that's non-GFCI. For the light switch, we're going to splice this in there as well. So let's go ahead and make another little pigtail for the other receptacle in this box. And we'll go ahead and splice those together right now. And then we'll continue on with wiring up this other receptacle. Give them a few twists, make sure they stay together. We have our four pigtails, two hot, two neutral. So our hots, it's actually not brass, it's a darker color. But it plugs right in there, double check it's in there pretty good. Give it a little tug. And same side on the neutral. Insert them there, give it a little tug. All right, we're good. We've got the silver screw, it's gonna be our neutral. Go ahead and tighten it down. And our brass screw is going to be our hot. Insert it, make sure it's tight. So now it's going to look like that. It's a mess of wires. Make sure they're all facing the same way. So let's get all of our neutrals together. It should be three. So we're going to go ahead and twist these neutrals together. We'll grab our wire nuts, make sure no wire comes loose, and keep twisting so you get a lot of resistance, so you know everything's stuck in there, not going anywhere. Alright, so that's our three neutrals right there. Now we'll do the same for the hot. make sure there's not a lot of exposed copper hanging out. So we got our neutrals wired up together. We have our hots wired up together. So now we're just going to ground both of these receptacles. So we'll go ahead and put our faceplate on. We'll grab our cable staples and a hammer. Tack this up over to our light switch. I decided to go against my original plan. I was going to put two lights down here, but it's kind of a small area. So we'll just stick with one, make it easier. Uh, so let's get started on wiring this up. So here's our Lutron motion sensor light. You'll notice the cables on the back, we have a white neutral, two blacks, and the silver wire is a ground wire. Doesn't matter which one you connect your line or your low to, just choose one and go with it. So let's do our grounds first. neutrals and we'll choose one of these black wires for our load which will be our light this is our load hot And lastly, our line, hot. The 
there we go and we'll neatly stuff these wires in there Now we'll tack up this wire over to the light, splice that in, and then we'll test it out. Okay, so we got to a good location for the light. So we're gonna mount this little weatherproof box. Okay, so here we have the receptacle for the light. Just gonna twist in there. You're gonna see a brass screw and a silver screw. So your black hot line is gonna go to the brass screw and your white neutral to the silver. And that's how it should look. Go ahead and wrap the ground like that so it doesn't touch anything, any kind of copper in there. Here's our light. Twist it all the way in there. All right, so there's the final product. I'll have to adjust some settings on that light switch. So we'll go ahead and figure that out right now. And we'll come back in here and see if it turns on when I come in. Okay, so let's configure this light switch. So the first one is your timeout. That's the big button. So let's hold down until it blinks twice for one minute. Okay. All right, next one is sensor mode. And that's the small button over here on the side. You can barely see it right there. So we're gonna do occupancy mode. That's auto on, auto off. We press this small button. After one blink, we let go. Okay, and our last setting is advanced settings. That's the sensitivity to your motion, and we want high. So after two blinks and holding down both buttons, we'll let go. go so all in all not too hard of a project your situation might differ from this I was lucky enough to have a receptacle down here I could work off of that's okay, that's okay. as long as I have my torch Die, double bird! I'm okay, I'm okay.